tomorrow we had discussed uh, up to chapter 1.1 and we had also discussed uh, the numerical and or whatever equations which has uh, mentioned in your ak gorai today we will start chapter 1.3 in which we will discuss uh, related to our open cast mining so uh, everybody know because you are the mining students so what is the open cast so open cast if you uh, you have a ore body or a coal we have to dig out some o ob and make a benches remove the ob and we will reach up to the our desired ore body or coal block and then we will start extracting extracting it okay so this is the definition now the terminology important for this formula you should know the stripping ratio you should know powder factor stripping ratio and how to calculate grade l etc so that formula will help you to calculate the desired numerical so what is a stripping ratio stripping ratio kya hota hai basic matlab kya hota hai stripping ratio ka ki how much uh, ore you want to extract or body you want to extract divided by their volume weight of the recoverable mineral reserve in ton divided by volume of ob in cubic meter sometime this is depend because sometime it will be also in the volume of our burden divided by weight of recoverable recoverable reserve uh, mineral reserve in so sometime it will be in the meter cube by ton so it depend on the question how he has written so please remove uh, remember that what is that stripping ratio ki kitna aapko ob remove karna hai kitna ore nikal ke liye to ore by ob or ob by ore that is a simple definition of the stripping ratio it is very important formula because various numerical will be asked so this is the formula but uh, how you will calculate volume how you will get weight of the reserve so that will be the different aspect so we will discuss in the numerical how we will approach uh, uh, to solve the numerical okay so stripping ratio definition is the ratio of the volume of the ob removed to weight of recover recoverable mineral reserve so uh, it's depend matlab sometimes in ncl if you want to extract uh, in in the ncl the major 3.6 is the stripping ratio uh, if you go in the gevra mines of the scl scl there will be the one ratio 2 means 2 is the stripping ratio so this is a one ratio 3.6 if it is written in one ratio 3.6 that means if you want to extract one meter cube one ton of the coal then you have to dig out one 3.6 meter cube over burden if it is written two ratio one then or one ratio to the one ratio two then you have if we want to extract one ton of the coal then you have to extract 2 meter cube of the ob theek hai so there this is the simply what he has written in the stripping ratio then second terminology is break even stripping ratio in the in uh, one chapter 1.3 the theory part is very less but uh, the numerical are more in the 1.2 we had seen uh 1.1 or 1.2 whatever you say the previous chapter we had seen that uh, 
the various various uh, UG methods. That means we had discussed the theory more, and the, the numerical or question were are based on the theory, more on the theory and little on the calculation. But in this chapter, we will uh, that the numerical are more, theoretical aspect are less. So what is the break break even stripping ratio? Break even कब होगा? तो ये फॉर्मूला आपको रट जाना चाहिए रिकवरेबल प्राइस पर टन ऑफ द ओर सर दैट पॉइंट बियॉन्ड विच द मिनरल कोल कांट बी इकोनॉमिकली एक्सट्रेक्टेड आउट इज कोल्ड ब्रेक इवन दैट व्हाट इट मींस कि सपोज दैट दिस इज योर सरफेस इट इज योर कोल ब्लॉक और मेटल ब्लॉक और ओर देन इफ यू वांट टू एक्सट्रैक्ट इट यू हैव टू रिमूव द ओबी so when the cost of removing the ob should be equal to the selling price of the coal if both are the equal or you are not in the profit or the loss so or uh, up the cost of the ob is e nearly equal to the cost of selling of the coal then it is the break even मतलब कि जितना तुमने को कोयला निकालना है अगर तुम ओ बी रिमूव करे जा रहे करे जा रहे लेकिन एक टाइम ऐसा आएगा कि तुम उसके बाद में आप भले वहां कोल रिजर्व है दिस इज सरफेस दिस इज कोल ब्रोक और ओर ब्रोक बट यहाँ तुमको निकालना फिजिबल नहीं है मींस कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव नहीं है महंगा पड़ रहा है निकालना तो वो होता है ब्रेक इवन स्टिपिंग रेशियो की उसके आगे हम नहीं जा पाएंगे क्योंकि हमारा कॉस्ट ज्यादा हो जाएगा इसको एक्सट्रैक्ट करने का एग्जांपल क्या है जैसे रामपुरा आगुचा माइंस है ना इन द रामपुरा आगुचा लेड जिंक तो निकलता ही है सिल्वर भी निकलता है बट समाइम यू कैन फाइंड गोल्ड इन सम ऑफ द माइंस बट यू विल नॉट एक्सट्रैक्ट दैट गोल्ड बिकॉज दैट इज नॉट इकोनॉमिकल For you to extract that other metal, है ना तो हमारे लिए माइनिंग क्यों कर रहे हैं हमको पैसा भी तो कमाना है ना सो द पॉइंट बियॉन्ड विच द मिनरल कोल कांट बी इकोनॉमिकली एक्सट्रैक्ट आउट इज कोल्ड एज ब्रेक इवन स्ट्रिपिंग रेशियो सो दिस इज द बेसिक डेफिनेशन बट इन द न्यूमेरिकल यू शुड नो रिकवरेबल प्राइस कितना आपको उस ओर को बेचने पर आएगा so how much you will recover from the ore after selling and how much the cost production cost per the ore kitna cost you uh, lag raha in the production and the profit margin kitna you want to take as a profit divided by cost of extraction per cubic meter ob that is the simple formula so you should remember this break even Uh, stripping ratio formula as well as stripping ratio formula because you will see lot of questions based on these formulas so how you will uh, reach suppose this is your you want this a4 and a6 is your ore okay ore coal block whatever you want to say so what we have seen so wait formula you should remember that uh, stripping ratio weight of recoverable mineral reserve in ton by volume of the ob and you can vice versa volume of the overburden in the cubic divided by weight of recoverable mineral reserve so here this is the ob this is 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 ob okay so how you will write so a1 Plus two a two plus two a three plus two a five. This is your. You have to extract this ob, this ob, and this ob to reach to reach this this body. This is your ore. So. to extract this ore you have to dig out this ob 
सो दिस इज यूर ओ बी ओके डिवाइडेड बाय ए फोर प्लस ए सिक्स दिस इज युअर ओर दिस इज दुअर फॉर्मुला सो यू यू मे हैव अ डाउट दैट वी वर यूजिंग द वॉल्यूम बट हियर यू आर यूजिंग द एरिया वाई बिकॉज दिस इज टू डी वर्जन सो सपोज दैट इट विल थिकनेस लेट्स टी सो दट टी मल्टीप्लीकेशन विल बी इन दिस एंड दिस ऑल्सो सो इट ऑलरेडी कट आउट सो वी हैड डायरेक्टली टेकन ए वन ए वन ए टू ए टू ए थ्री ए थ्री ए फाइव ए फाइव सो ए वन एक टाइम्स आया दो टाइम्स ए टू आया दो टाइम्स ए थ्री टू टाइम्स ए फाइव ठीक है दिस इज द फॉर्मूला यू शुड रिमेंबर और वी इफ यू फॉर गेट डोंट वरी वी कैन कैलकुलेट विद द हेल्प ऑफ द डायग्राम इट इज सिंपली यू जस्ट नीड हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द एरिया इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेज आई टोल्ड यू हाउ वट इज द एरिया ऑफ ए ट्राइंगल if it is the rectangle triangle i told you 1 by 2 uh, the height and base so this is the height into base it is the area of the right angle triangle if you don't know the if the all the dimension are different then this is the hero's formula s s minus a s minus b s minus c uh, where s equal to a plus b plus c divided by 2 okay and if the all dimension are equal which is the dimension is a then the area will be root 3 by 4 a square so if you know the formula you can calculate because the basic is simple ob by your or okay so now we will see what are the terminology in our uh, open cast minds this is the bench height is this h is the bench height this is the bench this is also bench this is also bench so it will also h it is also h so it also depend the h may be vary sometimes it will be 6 it 7 it 8 or 5 uh, it depend so here we are uh, using the same height of the bench so all are the h h h okay and the bank with bank kya hota hai suppose this is your overburden then this inclination because ob jab bhi aap giraoge so you can go you cannot go straight it will be some deviation from the vertical then again bench and then again deviation so this this width is co we are calling bench width hai na and this is a toe not important this is crest which is top part of it if you want to remember remember that toe is the corner point of the your bench or bank width and crest is the top point of the corner of the your bench berm width berm width is diff, uh, is the बर्म विथ क्या होता है इफ दिस इज यूर रोड देन यू पुट सम ओबी हियर टू सेफ गार्ड यूर व्हीकल्स सो हेयर दे विल नॉट फॉल डाउन सो यू विल पुट सम ओबी हियर सो यूर व्हीकल नॉट फॉल डाउन फ्रॉम हियर सो इट इज यूर बर्म विथ बर्म हाइट बर्म हाइट एंड बर्म विथ सो यू शुड गूगल और रीड अबाउट गूगल और read about what is the ideal height of the your berm height berm height kitna hona chahiye okay please go and check and one important phenomena is also a uh, first bench height bench this is the theta this is the bench slope one bench slope this is theta is bench slope but if you want to go if you take top point and bottom point and uh, draw a line then it is it will be your 
overall slope of the angle it should be not more than 45 degree sometime for various material it depend but generally should not be more than 45 degrees otherwise your ob may be collapse hai na so what what i have uh, told you ki suppose this is your bench then some berm uh, then some bank with then wapas bench this is the your bench ob you have put so if this is the height h this is height h this is height h so this is this will be the angle of the this angle will be the overall beta overall angle overall overall slope angle okay and this will be theta this will be bench bench angle it will depend it it may be similar or different if the height is different then it may be different so in this formula we should know how to we derive this formula how suppose this is the height okay and this is the your b matlab bench width this is also bench width so it is also bench width then it also it may, it is the own i have taken three bench three be, uh, two bench and three heights but you, it can be more also so you should know how to derive this formula so if he will give you four bench five bench six bench then you should know how how this formula derive so you can solve that question so in this question how you will achieve overall angle overall slope angle slope angle i told you this is if that if this will be the 90 uh, this is the height this is the breadth then this is the theta then that tan theta equal to h by b okay for the single bench but here the our angle overall angle will be this so it is beta so tan beta equal to what will be tan beta mein kya hoga so height will be h plus h plus h because three be, three heights bench heights if it was the 5 or 4 then you add more and in this diagram we only have two benches width two bench width so b plus b if more than you consider them okay and if in this you have skip this whites also this widths so you have to consider this also suppose that this is x so if uh, it to and 3x so 3x it will be 3h by 2b plus 3x so 3x x suppose that it is the it has given us x it is x it is the height h if it is the theta okay 
it is bench it is the bench slope not overall slope so uh, h by x equal to 10x 10 theta so x बराबर h by 10 theta so it will be 3h by 2b plus 3 by 10 theta this will be our derivation so if so you can now if he will give us the four five benches six benches you can know how to how we will drive suppose one two three four so if it is your diagram then this is h h h and h 4h and b b and b so in this diagram how you overall 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 slope so 4h 3b plus x x x and x so 4x so 4h by 3b plus 4x x if it is as it is theta 10h by 10 theta so h by 10 theta okay so so we can drive our formula y so whenever he will give us he ask us the overall slope slope angle so number of bench multiply with the heights number of bench heights you can write it down divided by number of bench width plus number of bank width you can write it down okay if you have any doubt please comment so we can discuss okay so you have few doubts which will dis discuss then we will go ahead stripping ratio first doubt was stripping ratio so in the stripping ratio our all the stripping ratio what we had discussed ki weight of the recoverable mineral kitna weight hai and the volume of the overburden in the cubic so this is the just example don't consider it a numerical in the numerical section we will discuss it further don't worry i just give you brief information how you will go approach the question so hum question se discuss karenge ki kaise solve karna hai bahut baar numeric uh, formula mein kuch cheeze nahi samajh mein aa rahi to bhi wo numerical mein aapko clear ho jayegi theek hai aur yahan pe jo aap bol rahe ho ki तीन बेंच हाइट है बट व्हाट आई टोल्ड यू कि व्हाट इज द ओवरऑल एंगल और एंगल शुड बी लोएस्ट पॉइंट एंड द दिस पॉइंट नॉट दिस पॉइंट सो इट इज इट विल बी द योर ओवरऑल एंगल सो वी हैड नॉट कंसीडर दिस इन द इन दिस क्वेश्चन आल्सो सिमिलरली वी हैड दिस डिडंट कंसीडर दिस एंड वी हैड टेक दिस पॉइंट टू दिस पॉइंट ओके सो अब यहां पे भी तो यही ले रहे थे we are considering this also 
so for this overall the angle we will consider these points so we had not consider this so if still have a doubt then tell me otherwise we will discuss lot of question on that so if small doubt you have then that will be eliminate in the numerical section today or today itself we will start few questions please write it down if you have any doubt if anybody has any doubt please comment otherwise we will go ahead so we can finish theory then we will start numerical okay understand okay sir clear sir okay now spacing burden height of the bench width of the bench safety burn bank width they go if this is your diagram so basic kabhi bhi field mein bhi jaoge na so agar maine ye hole mar so this is your berm means burden okay if this is our hole from this distance this is your burden this is burden this is also burden if we hole again this is your burden 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 and if we go in the this direction then there that is be spacing 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 this is also spacing between these two hole this is spacing this is also spacing understood what is burden and spacing so spacing is the distance between two holes in the same row called spacing means same row distance between two hole in the same row is called spacing got it and burden distance between the crest of the bench and the first row of the drill hole or the distance between the two hole row is known as burden so i told you if it is the crest then this is your burden and distance between the two hole distance between the first row and the distance between the two row holes is burden got it what is burden and what is the spacing this is your burden and spacing the height of the bench this is your height of the bench this is the height of the bench and width of the bench this is the width of the bench so what is the height of the bench vertical distance between the benches called the bench height this is the horizontal gap between the toe of the upper bench to the crest of the lower bench this is important point why because he had mentioned that this the the width of the bench always greater than the height of the bench that means the width of the bench always greater than the height of the bench this is the height this is the width so this width always greater than the height of the bench so what he has uh, written in the theory uh, theory portion that the distance between the toe of the be upper bench and the crest of the lower bench this is the crest of the bottom bench and this is the toe of the toe bench then the distance between is known as the bench width so bench width always greater than bench width should always greater than bench height then the safety burn safety burn you make safety burn here here 
Why? Because it help us to the vehicle will not fall down. It protect us. So we make berm. So this is the piles of the rope material near the crest of the. This is the crest. So piles near the uh, on the near the crest of the bench to improve the safety in the mining. What is the bank width? This is the horizontal projection of the. This is the bank width. This is the bank width we already discussed. This is x and how we will calculate rams. There are various rams. This is passes to make the access from one level to another level. Maximum permissible gradient. You should remember this point also. The maximum gradient should be one raised one in ten. One in ten. What is the means? So. If we are going ten meter, then the angle should not be more than one ratio ten. So it should be one ten. Because if it will be more than, then your vehicle will not go, or it will difficult for your vehicle to go up, or it will it will be cost it will it will not cost effective for your vehicle to reach on the top. So it will be one ratio ten for the ramp, and ramp help us to if this is your level one, this is your bench, uh, one level to second level. If you want to reach, you make a. I will show you some diagram. If I have, then you will be better understand. This is this is your bench one. This is bench two. Okay, so you had made a. This one, it you can call it ramp. It will go from top to bottom, and then you will reverse, and you will approach to your bottom. So this is the haulage truck. This is the haulage truck. Impit ramp. This is impit ramp. Also, you can say because it is in your pit. And it is our X pit ramp. It is X pit ramp. This is your pit exit. This is a pitch bench. It is your pitch bench. And he has not berms. Berms. This is our berms. The if you come to sudden. Then it is your switch breaker, switch breaks. I will show you some also photos also. This is your operational area. So drilling. This is your dumper, dumper, and dozer. This is also dozer, dozer or shovel, shovel. This is shovel. So. So this this will be the your operational area. This is your bench. This is top ramp. This is a your typical bench. This is a whole road. This is your outer dump. It should be also in bench form. So it will uh, help not to collapse your. ob okay so this is your if holes or then it will be your berm which protect your vehicle to fall down ha na so i told you to research or google it how much the height should be of your berm because it is it will be your legislature part so it will help you to In your examination as well as in a first class examination, and what it will be? It will be divider. What it? Uh, so if you are going this, it will sub divider. So some vehicle came up, uh, came this side, and some vehicle will go on this side. They will not cross to each other. 
in between this because this is the divider okay so we had discussed the spacing burden height of bench width of the bench safety berm safety berm and bank width and the rams rams gradient should be 1 in 10 should remember this fact and also remember the bench width should always be more than the bench height okay uh, we had also discussed in the so this these are the dgm norms in the open cast mining you should remember the first is the in alluvial soil marum gravel clay debris please remember for the alluvial marum gravel clay debris at the soft grounded slope of the bed shall not be exceed than 45 degrees from the horizontal from the horizontal the bench should be not more than 45 degrees otherwise i told you it will be collapse or knee can be collapse other also the sides shall be kept bench and the height of the bench shall not be exceed 1.5 meter and the breast shall not be less than the height matlab kya hai so for this alluvial soil morum gravel clay debris other the bench height so bench height jo hai it should be not more than 1.5 meter for alluvial soil alluvium soil clay gravel debris so 1.5 meter will be your height and the this will be the height and the width is this so your height breadth breadth matlab width not be less than the height is do not less than means aisa nahi hona chahiye ki ये 1.5 से होना चाहिए तो ये 1.5 से ज्यादा जा, ही होना चाहिए कम नहीं होना चाहिए इट शुड बी मोर देन 1.5 नॉट लेस देन 1.5 ओके सेकंड पॉइंट द कोल स्लोप ऑफ द बेंच शुड नॉट बी एक्सेस देन 45 डिग्रीज फ्रॉम द हॉरिजॉन्टल और द साइड शैल बी द कैप बेंच एंड द हाइट ऑफ द बेंच शैल नॉट बी एक्सेड इन द फॉर कोल द हाइट ऑफ द बेंच should be 3 meter and the breadth should not be less than the height so the breadth should be more than more than 3 meter more than 1.5 okay so you, these points you should remember for coal what uh, what is the dgms rules for the alluvial marum gray clay debris soft what is the rules and maximum gradient of the whole road is should be one in the 14 you should also remember ki maximum gradient for the whole road should be one in 14 you will read in the your legislature part but these are mentioned specifically in your ekagora so you should remember these four five points hai na so the permissible length of the tailing cable in the open cast is 300 meter so tailing tailing cable ki length jo hoti hai wo 300 meter se zyada nahi honi chahiye and we also discussed please revise both 100 meter 200 meter and 300 meter in your chapter 1 last three question go and revise what these are the lengths and so it will definitely help you if you have any doubt please 
let me know otherwise we will go ahead there are various point in your dgm dgms circular you will read all of them so it want to say that in the third point he was it i am i think it is not important for you but if you want to know third point then in the alluvial soil morum gravel clay debris in other soft ground a pillar is left for measurement so this pillar height should be 2.5 meter and the diameter should be 1.25 meter should not less than 1.25 meter if this length is the more than 1.25 okay so not i think not important but if you can want to remember read four four to five times this five four point daily four to five days you will remember these points or they will be help you so we had seen what is the pit exit in pit exit ex pit ex ramp pit benches berms we have seen spiral segment switch backs so there are types of uh, ramps first is spi spiral spiral means spiral it is a not a suitable where there is a problem of the slope stability so spiral uh, slope spiral ramp we will not consider where the slope stability is the problem so where we will use the uh, spiral uh, ramp where this depth is very high so we move we prefer slope we use prefer the spiral where the depth is more switch back what is the switch back switch back is not a spiral this is the switch back where i have seen i told you that switch back you go there then suddenly you change your direction in 180 degree so you are going there but suddenly you have change and come back so this is not a spiral in the nature but road turn 180 degree at a end of the extent what is the zigzag so zigzag is anywhere you you were going there then you need you come back then go go here because in the your open cast mines it is not uh, uh, you cannot draw anything on the paper sometime you have to decision that suppose that uh, way, this is your coal blo coal block you extracted up to this and sometime uh, if you are using the drag lines so you your machine you have invested lot of money so you have to work according your drag line so sometime this coal block you have left due to you want to switch uh, to uh, because your drag line switch and he put some ob here so you will go you will make some other path and go back to your uh, coal block and extract that one so sometimes this there is not any uniformity in this type of layout this type of layout changes the path to make the access to the lower level as per the availability of the suitable area matlab kabhi kabhi kya hota hai kuch kuch part mein hum cheeze chhod dete hain aur wo hum ko nikalna hota hai jaise ore ho gaya coal ho gaya humko nikalna hi hai then hum random बात बनाते हैं जिससे कि कैसे भी करके उस ओवर बॉडी या कोल ब्लॉक तक एक्सेस कर सके जिससे कि उसको निकालना आसान हो है ना तो वहां पे बहुत ज्यादा आप सिस्टमेटिक नहीं जा सकते आपको रैंडमली थोड़ा गए फिर आ गए फिर ऐसे गए और रीच करके हमको वो निकाल लेना है सो वी हैड सीन दिस आल्सो वी हैड सीन द बम बर्न एंड डिवाइडर एंड super elevation so if this is the turning point 
if this is the turning point then the the road should be at a angle you have seen on your highways super elevation they also maintained so curvature path so this height will be more than this this side height of the road this will be your super elevation you should maintain otherwise your vehicle may skid if he it has a speed if you have any doubt please let me know otherwise we can go ahead okay now clear 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 so where we are we had seen the terminology please revise or watch or read a book so you know at least the terminology of your open cast as well as your underground so it will help you to eliminate the options because in the coal mines they will ask or give one or two option of the open cast or underground metal mines and ask you which method or which uh, terminology is not used in your coal mines if you have not read anything about of uh, metal mines then you may be fail difficulties in the examination so i will not determine determination of the space and how you will approach this is the just derivation i don't want to go and discuss the old derivation because we will uh, i will show you how to solve the numerical in this way in, in this way it will difficult for you also so i will give you the basic information how this formula derived this is not a formula this is the just approach so i will show you in the numerical parts how you will go and how how you will how you will have to solve the question so if these are the height width spacing burden density and work day per year and we one in in the one week six is working maximum length of the phase so if he has given the target is y for the year so divide with the how many days mines working suppose that is d okay this is how many days working and in the one week how many days in work one week six days so six so it will be the production required per week you had divided total production divided by number of days into 6 so it will be your weekly production then number of holes you will find out then the length of the phase required to accumulate accommodate above the number of holes so leave it i will show you how to solve the question because uh, yeah alphabets you may confuse or you will be Feel uncomfortable, but in the numerical, it is it will be easy. If you practice two three times, you will be remember the process. So in this formula, you should remember what is the powder factor. We had discussed in the last class or previous classes also. What is pro pro powder factor? Is a production per hole divided by explosive consumed per hole. Okay. so now you may say that in the last classes or you have discussed that number of explosive you use about uh, how much production here you are using the whole so it depend on the question what he want to ask so if he will ask you in the whole the basic formula is similar so production by divided by explosive so if he ask us the yearly then you take the yearly production and the explosive and here he is using the explosive per hole so suppose this is your hole and so production what will be the height how much the height of the bench then the burden spacing and gamma is the density then explosive how much explosive so i told you cylinder cylindric cylind cylinder 
वॉल्यूम आई टोल्ड यू हाइट टू फाइंड आउट सो आई टोल्ड यू पाई आर स्क्वायर एच सो हियर सो पाई आई मन डी बाई टू सो डी बाई टू का स्क्वायर एंड एच एच यू विल नॉट फील विद द एक्सप्लोजिव यू विल नॉट फील ऑल होल विद द एक्सप्लोजिव सम यू विल पुट सम स्टेमिंग दिस इज स्टेमिंग and sometime you will not you will uh, empty some hole it will depend on the qos question so in this question you will consider the stemming so the effective height will be h minus h so the volume will be pi d by 2 square into h minus h it will be the cylindrical volume so volume pi d Square by four h minus h into gamma of x log. So this will be your powder factor. You should remember how you will solve the question because you do not need to remember all the formula. Just remember the process. Some some of the uh, formula just need to know the process. If you know the process, you don't need to mug up or रटने का जरूरत नहीं है फॉर्मूला को है ना तो कभी कभी प्रोसेस भी पता हो तो भी आप सोल्व कर लोगे जैसे पाउडर फैक्टर में प्रोसेस पता हो इन द पाउडर फैक्टर इफ यू नो द प्रोसेस यू कैन सोल्व द क्वेश्चन इन द स्टीम स्ट्रिपिंग रेशियो यू इफ यू नो द प्रोसेस यू कैन सोल्व द क्वेश्चन है ना सो नाउ कम टू दट टाइप ऑफ द स्लोप फेलियर If you don't maintain your uh, the overall strip, uh, slope angle, or if you don't uh, consider your bench height, bench width, uh, the ratio, uh, if you then there are three, four types of the slope failure. First is the circular failure. Circular failure is these types. So failure will be in circular shape and it will be fall down. second type is a plane failure plane failure is if the all the plane fails in this way then it is it will be your plane failure wedge failure means if the failure in the wedge format then it will be the wedge failure and toppling means it will be in your topple one by one it will it will known as a toppling slides maybe you will say uh, you are not discussing in detail you should explain in detail these four theories but it is not desirable for us to solve the numericals of the ak gore so i am not discussing the whole theory of uh, circular failure formulas and circular failures in advantage disadvantage Uh, conditions here i just wants to know how this failure looks like so i show in the diagram so plane failure wedge failure circular failure or toppling slides okay and uh, some of the failure looks like this transitional slides rotational slides this is flow means uh, the water uh, water is more then the dilution of the your or body and it will be fall down this is spread topple and fall this is the fall you just need these four types if we will ask and please go and read if you find it in the volume 1 volume 2 volume 3 then read about it uh, regarding the slope failures okay and please go and read about few terminology which may have not mentioned in our ppts in the ek category then go and check the terminologies of ug and metal mines of underground and open cast so these these are the failures sometimes the failure will be big sometimes failure will be small ओके okay.
this is the factor of safety you just need what is the factor of safety and how you will approach uh, suppose i will show you how uh, what i want to say you had uh, read in your 12th class physics that if it, if this is your body any body if this is your body then if it is place on the surface then three body diagram you can make that it will be normal and amg means gravitational force is applying on the body if it if this body is placed on the inclined surface then mg is this is mg if it is theta then it will be it will be mg sin theta and it will be your mg cos theta if if the uh, something mu means uh, friction friction is applied then friction will be mu into n so like that so in the, this block if this is your block then mg sin theta will be the sliding force means he he is acting on the sliding he is pulling pulling down your body okay so what is the factor of safety factor of safety that means factor of safety you should know Factor of safety means total force. Suppose that was the body. So, which is the resisting force? Which is mu into n. So, what is the sliding force? Mg sin theta. So, total resisting force means who, which force is stopping that body to fall down? That is resisting force. Resist force. Resist sliding. so who is stopping that block to fall down and total force tending to induce sliding so which is which is induce him to fall down so in this diagram what is the diagram so suppose that is the your failure so i told you that is this is is suppose this is the body then w, w is the force then this is w sin theta this is w cos theta w what is the w w is the weight of the weight of the block so this this is w sin theta it is the sliding force and what will be the resisting force so something w cos theta and if the this also i it should be 5 then ca plus w cos b tan phi you will just know this what i had explained what is the sliding force what is the resisting force and what is the formula of the factor of safety just you need to know then we will appro we will solve the question how you will approach the question i will explain in the numerical derivative set because yahan yaad hone wala kuch hai nahi hai na ye ye cheeze yaad rehti nahi so i will let you know how you will solve how you will approach the question that will be enough for you similarly this this is the similar type of question okay so uh, should we start two three questions so you you will know lead me or okay we will discuss four five questions 
and then we will take your queries one by one and let's see how much how many doubt we can clear today itself or if, i think you do not have any issue please comment if you have any issue or any doubt regarding to uh, regarding any question or any theory i will try to explain you and if you know the answer of this question please comment on the uh, chat box we i will discuss four or five questions so you will know how we will approach the questions so so i told you that uh, it doesn't matter that sometime you are work, uh, reading for metal or coal because he he may ask you few terminology of coal some few of the metal and ask you which is the terminology is related to underground coal mines which is for the underground open cast coal mines sir eh? so in this question he has asked which one of the following term is not related to open cast mining so we had seen the winges winges for metal underground rage and winge we had read rage rage and rage and winge we had seen okay high wall you have seen crisp box cut we have seen so what is the if this this is your high wall okay so answer will be winge okay rage and winge we have seen for underground so it will be not for your oh, open cast mining so uh, we had seen the reference uh, z representative factors we had seen one ratio 200 one ratio 1000 1 one ratio 2000 so please go and revise that also so for the large open cast mine because this is a large open cast mining so the scale according to mmr 1961 it should be 4 4000 ratio 1 uh vamsi ji i am solving all the questions so uh, please write down on the num a single 2 3 uh, a4 size paper so it will help you for to revise it because agar main abhi se sare question sare formula ek jagah likha dunga to aapko samajh nahi aayega aur aap dekhoge nahi when i will complete the whole theory i will try to write down the whole formulas like i have discussed you the square cube square and uh, cube cubic formulas on the single paper then i will try and write down the whole formulas after i will complete the few chapters but for you for now you have to write it down on your notebook separately make a two three uh, sep spare left separate pages two three pages and write the write down them please comment this is the in this question we have to calculate the break even break even stepping ratios so if you can solve it solve it otherwise i will try to solve it so you have a 10 to 15 15 second then i will solve okay so, so break even stepping ratio what break even break even stepping ratio aisa likh deta hu so what is break even stepping ratio so recoverable price or it is ton in ton na minus open cast production cost in ton 
प्लस प्रॉफिट मार्जिन डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस्ट ऑफ कॉस्ट ऑफ एक्सट्रैक्शन पर मीटर क्यूब ओ बी है ना सो दैट वाज आवर फॉर्मूला सो इन विच इन दिस क्वेश्चन ही हैज गिवन अस द सेल ऑफ द वैल्यू ऑफ द क्रोमाइट दैट मींस रिकवरेबल ऑल एंड देन ही इज द एक्सक्लूडेड द स्ट्रिपिंग रेशियो द कॉस्ट ऑफ द माइनिंग कॉस्ट ऑफ माइनिंग ही हैज गिवन अह then the if the cost of the stripping is the 1150 then cost of extraction given but profit margin here he has not mentioned so we are taking just zero if he has mentioned then then we then we had taken that one but here he has not mentioned so we are taking the profit margin to zero so what is recoverable recoverable price of the ore so it will be 6500 minus what is the ob production cost ob production cost is the 2450 and profit margin zero and cost of extraction is 1150 meter cube then we will solve 05 0 5 0 5 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0
minus area of this triangle so you will know this area okay so this is the right angle triangle then then so he has given us it is 100 and it is 10 so total length will be 110 okay this is 90 degree so this is also 110 why why because 45 degrees he has sent so agar simply agar kabhi bhi bol le na aapko ki ye 45 degree hai if somebody will ask you if it it is the 5 then it is also 5 if the 45 degree if he will say it is 10 in the 45 degree then it will be also 10 yeah, or otherwise you have the formula 10 45 equal to height by base height if he has given x so that's then put value 45 1 1010 so b equal to 110 okay so it depend on you just 110 110 110 so it will be 110 it will be 110 so area of the this will be 1 by 2 multiply 110 into 110 minus this one minus 1 by 2 into this this height will be this height will be 100 this height will be 100 so 100 into 100 okay so you will got the these area if you multiply with the, the two because that that is similar similarity you will get also this so this is your ob hai na so what what is the our formula for the ratio of ob log to or what stripping ratio he we want or the stripping ratio or the waist to or waist to or तो वेस्ट कितना आ गया इसको मल्टीप्लाई कर रहे हैं हम इसको सोल्व कर लो आप सोल्व ही कर लो आप सो टू तो टू तो हट ही जाएगा तो आएगा 110 सौ दस इंटू वन जीरो टेन माइनस हंड्रेड इंटू हंड्रेड सो इट इज इलेवन इलेवन इट इज वन ट्वेंटी वन आई टोल्ड यू टू रिमेंबर द स्क्वायर रूट up to 25 it will 12100 so it will be your ob and if you know the over body you can write down the area of the over body 2100 divided by so if it is 100 then it will be the 100 it will be 100 it is also 100 100 okay so the area of this will be 100 into this is 10 so area of the if it is the 100 this is 10 the area of the rectangle will be this so divide you will get 2.1 okay in this question he has asked us to find out the ratio of ob so he said that consist of width of 100 meter has excavated by the open pit method up to the 100 so he has excavated this means he already excavated this area so we do not need to excavate this already excavated matlab ye pehle se hi nikal liya gaya hai hai na to ab we have to excavate those which 
he want to extend the depth up to 10 meter so this 10 meter this is 10 this is 10 and this is 100 meter width okay for this over body you have to if you want to excavate it you need to excavate this ob okay so if you want to calculate waist to or then waist divided by or in this if you know the area of these two then you will you will get your o waist and if you know the area of this you will get the or so waist if you want to find out the area of this area so i am taking this area this is this look like this okay so you want this area only and this is the height 110 okay and if this is 90 and the angle is 45 it will be also 110 so if you want to and this height will be 100 and then this will be also 100 45 degree angle he has said so if you want to find out this area then the area of bigger triangle minus area of the smaller triangle so area of the big triangle this is the right angle triangle means 1 by 2 110 into 110 area of the smaller triangle 100 into 100 so you will get this area solid and this is the similar to this so take 1 by 2 110 into 110 minus 100 into 100 when you will multiply it it will be 12100 minus 10000 divided by 12 it is the single layer but similar this this you want to extract this or also this ob also so it is similar to this so you can multiply with the 2 so it will be 2 multiply by 1 by 2 into 12100 minus 10000 divided by or so or or is the just this block so this is your 10 and this is 100 so area of this one be 100 into 10 then 2100 divided by 10 into 10 you will subtract so it will 2.1 so answer will be 2.1 okay so i think all you have got or have understood what have whatever i have teach you so tomorrow we will start and we will discuss next questions so please uh, go and revise the formulas process whatever i have teach you and please go and remember the table up to 25 square up to 25 and cube up to 15 and square formulas cube formulas whatever i have told you teach you okay bye bye see you tomorrow